Hello and welcome to my uh, series about Chopin mazurkas. Today we will focus on mazurka in E major, opus 6, number 3. This mazurka is very different from the two previous ones in this opus. It's also the first uh, mazurka in the opus which is in the, the key, the major key, which means the happy key, happy tonality. Uh, the E major major is the, generally speaking very warm and very bright um, key. Uh, here we have a, a kind of story. We, we can say we are suddenly, we, like, we, we wake up and we are in the middle of the folk wedding party. It's just a crazy wedding party when everybody is so happy and they're dancing like crazy and there is a folk group which is playing the music. And this is exactly what Chopin is trying to achieve in this mazurka. Uh, this is the, the beginning it starts like an introduction. Introduction is very fantastically uh, composed because, well, we have only fifths, so this, is, this can be uh, played with a double bass or cello uh, with one hand only, right? Only on the strings, so even I can play it. Um, uh, and, uh, well, the second hand, you can drink something or eat something, and then you can still play. So uh, you can play like that all night, right? And there are very fascinating accents written by Chopin. These accents are uh, irregular. We have... It seems like Chopin is changing the, um, the bars. He is changing the bar lines. We have instead of one, two, three, it seems like we have three, two, one, three, two, one, and then two, one, two, one, two, one. I don't know if you understand, but it is um, the accents are just played uh, on the contrary, on the, um, not on the right. Not on one, definitely. So we have... Uh, this is the beginning, and then uh, the, some somebody, some bass is coming. This melody in this introduction, this is the, the, the scale going down. It appears in, the, in this piece four times. And this is very interesting that um, in three times when it appears, it starts from a different note. So for me as an interpreter, it's, it means that I should try to change the colors every time it comes. Uh, first time, listen. Second time. It's uh, more down, so it means it should be a little, uh, a little darker, I think. Mm. So the first time, the second time, and then later we have it from here. So I think this is the bright, the brightest. Um, it's, it's, I think it's very interesting because when we listen to this and when we don't have perfect pitch, probably we will not catch it that it's from different notes. That's how smartly it's composed by Chopin. And now the main theme for dancing. Just listen to this amazing Mazur dance. <laughs> very difficult because it um, or the melody is played in uh, double notes so one hand has to play two notes and this is always very uncomfortable for the pianist especially young pianists kids they they, they really have quite of trouble with that 
especially when we have the black key and the white key to, together because the black key is a little bit closer to us and the white key is a little bit more down so it means that the hand uh, the, 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 the fingers has to adjust to to this um, so the finger which is on the black key has to be a little bit more up uh, it's it's just a technical thing but definitely what we need here is the top voice which is more and it helps of course to practice it very slowly although the tempo at the end should be very fast just so that it seems like we it, our legs should want to dance by themselves right so which means that the, the dancers are jumping and then they are kicking their legs together to create the sound of, of, the, of, of the shoes. <laughs> But it's even more difficult and uncomfortable than before because here we have sixths all the time. So it means that the hand has to uh, strengthen a little bit more. Um, for small hands, it's very uncomfortable. But even for for me, it's not so. I have big hand, but it's not. Especially to do a legato, it's, it 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 takes some time. Usually, when I practice this, I take two hands. And I play as beautiful as I can and then I try to repeat the same way and uh, this way I improve so here we have the muzzle the very masculine muzzle something very interesting appears imagine the folk violin player is having his violins here and is just improvising just playing whatever whatever he feels whatever his soul is telling him and that, this is the melody and then here the second person with the violin comes together and they go together down bring us to the next team uh, and when this violin violinist is playing it's very simple melody it should be just played without any rubato I think just a just a violin player and here the, the accompaniment of the folk group so it's this I think we can feel that Chopin was very young when he composed this. Maybe he was even 14 or 15 years old. We don't exactly know when it was written. We know when it was published, but we don't really know when it was written. Uh, it was published when Chopin was 23, but for sure it was written much, much earlier. Such a happy uh, Chopin without any problems. I love this. dance is coming this is a kuyaviak so a slower dance with this waving how do we know that the melody first of all doesn't have the mazur, mazur rhythm tam, pam, pa, pam, pa, pam. if it would be mazur this would sound like that listen then 
we could dance like a mother on the but we have it's more it's more smooth it's going down and up which means it's waving so two times for me it seems like it is more it's not really violin play it's more uh, it's more sung it's sung by a, some beautiful girl wearing a nice beautiful folk colorful dress and in my opinion it should be played a little slower also because in the left hand we have um, a lot of changing harmonies if we focus on the left hand now if we take uh, what what was before we have three times the same chord and then and then the same chord so the color is not changing very 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 simple but the second time now when we have this melody just listen to the right left hand different chord different 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 Especially the second time, which is really, really rich in harmonies. For me, it's it is uh, it's really incredible how the young Chopin is just writing the music which 100 years later the composers were composing, uh, almost, or at least well, at least Mahler. Just listen to this. Um, well, start from the beginning. Can you hear? Does it sound like Chopin? No, it doesn't. But of course, in the fast tempo, you don't really notice that, but the harmony is absolutely unbelievable. Okay. What he did with the left hand here is just incredible. I play for you all all this part um, two times. The first time is quite normal. The second time left hand starts to improvise so much. So this folk group is just going crazy. Mm. And now the second time. Listen this. charming for me it's like um, like a fairy tale for kids but it was all fairy tale for kids and here is just just say to the kids this is the end of the fairy tale good night now you sleep well just listen it's so magic so magic and everything this mazurka all is so bright so fast and it ends piano pianissimo Absolutely incredible. Once again, that's the end. It makes me always so happy to play this piece, and uh, even though it's quite uh, quite difficult to play, uh, but I enjoy it very much. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>